Hello, welcome to this video in the early applications 2025 series. This time we're talking to MUA or test of mathematics for university admission. Now this is a little bit out of my comfort zone. I am not a mathematician, I am a biologist, but this is more about how you would approach doing these tests, taking these tests rather than your raw mathematical ability. Okay, so first thing to know, as a TMUA stands for the Test of Mathematics for University Admission, quite a mouthful, there, I always get it wrong. There are two sittings, just like with the ESAT video that I hope you've seen before, uh, the 16th and 17th of October and the 8th and 9th of January. Now, if you are going to apply to Cambridge, which many of you watching this video series will be, you are only able to take your test in that early sitting, the 16th, 17th of October, because the January ones will be too late. It's got to fit in with the rest of the um, application pathway for Cambridge in terms of their interviews and so, so and so forth, so on and so forth, right? So you can register for this from the 1st of August 2024. I think the end date is something like the 16th of September, but you really don't want to be leaving it that late, okay? These test slots are going to book up. There's loads more tests, as we've seen this whole series, using these test centres at these particular times so get in and book the slot you want early you can start by making your um, account and starting that up now so what is in it okay so the test format for the uh, for the TMUA the TMUA is very similar to the ESAT but we've got different modules here uh, sat continuously in a two and a half hour paper okay it's divided into two more on what these are each they're 20 multiple choice questions on each Right, so it might look like you've got quite a long time per question, but they are quite tough. So paper one, application of mathematical knowledge, will be about assessing your ability to apply your knowledge. And paper two, mathematical reasoning, is assessing your ability to deal with mathematical reasoning and apply logic. We'll go into what that means a little bit more, as far as, as, far as my own knowledge will allow me, in a moment. Important things to note about this paper, just like the ESAT, you will not be able to use a calculator. I don't know why you'd need to use a dictionary. Uh, there's no pass or fail, right? The idea is that they're very demanding and they give a differentiator to the university so they can decide who they take through to interview or who they give an offer to, uh, along with all your other application information as well. And final scores are based on the number of correct answers. You don't get negatively marked. So there is no point leaving anything blank. Do not leave anything blank. Have a go at every question, okay? If you leave a blank, you'll guarantee a zero you might get some marks if you have a go. So, who uses it? Well, this is very recent, updated, constantly changing. So this is a press release from uh, from them, from the uh, Pearson View website in April, the end of April 2024, so just a couple of months ago. Uh, more and more universities are opting to use it. So apparently now, necessary for applications, we've got Durham, Warwick, LSE, Cambridge, and Imperial are all using the uh, TMUA. Okay, now that obviously is a bit of a departure and a radical change. These ones are using it as routinely as part of their admissions uh, process. The information is a little bit confusing because it is changing quite often. Right, so this is the, the most recent information I can find. Okay, there is however a quirk with this that some other universities will use it as supplementary and supporting evidence. So you may wish to do this. So for example, uh, this is directly from the University of Southampton website, which basically says here that typically you'll get an AA, a, AAA offer for doing maths at Southampton. But as you can see down here, if an additional mathematics qualification, STEP, MAT or TMUA well, is taken alongside three A-levels, then the offer will be AAB. So if you take one of those qualifications, and I presume do reasonably well in it, although it doesn't necessarily say that, um, your offer can be lowered to AAB, okay? So they accept any of the three-step papers and obviously refer you back to Pearson View to look at TMUA. So there is a quirk on this one. I believe Bath are in a similar uh, situation, or at least were, and now said, actually, we don't want the TMUA. We want something different. So do look closely at your maths course specifically for what these tests can do for you. So what is in it? So this is as, as close to maths as I'm going to get in this video. First test, mathematical thinking. Now to me, this looks like the A-level maths spec, right? Algebra, basic functions, coordinate geometry, differentiation, exponentials, logarithms, graphs of functions, integration, sequences and series and trigonometry. So that's testing what do you know and can you apply it, okay? This next one here, mathematical reasoning, assess a candidate's ability to justify and interpret mathematical arguments and deal with logic, feels a little bit more like trying to test your ability as a pure mathematician, okay? What my colleagues here 
who do the high level math support would call proper maths. OK, so 75 minutes on what do you know and can you apply it and 75 minutes on can you do reasoning. Right. So how do you prepare for uh, this test? Well, you've got sample tests and I'll put the links in the description. Right, I'll put the links in the description. So you've got uh, the same website as for the ESAT. If you go on there, there is a specification. There are past papers and there is a portal that you can use to go on to generated specimen papers. And I would strongly recommend you do that. OK, finally, then register uh, on the website, to the website by the first of, for the 1st of August. I would say do that early, not late. If you've got access arrangements, apply from them. You can you, you can do that now. OK, you can get on, make your account and apply for them now. There is a cost. It's 75 pounds. Uh, it's more if you're international watching this internationally, although I doubt you are. Um, there are bursaries available. Applications for that are available now. You can actually pay with a credit or debit card or with one of these voucher codes, bursary codes. There is no pass mark, so there's no point leaving anything blank. OK, thank you very much on this one. Next time we'll do something totally different. We'll do the LNAT. Thanks very much. Bye bye.